Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surish Designer. Today we want to talk about another tutorials in the 3D Studio Max 2018. And I'm going to talk about editable poly options in 3D Studio Max. So I hope you enjoy this video. Before we start this tutorial, like and subscribe, don't forget it. And let's go. I'm going to start with the simple volume in here called Box. I turn the auto grid on and I want to turn my box like this I'm gonna turn off the uh, auto grid in here if I press F4 on my keyboard I can see these aged faces in here and it's really helpful in 3D designing and other type of things so for changing the uh, gizmo of your volume or object you can tap on the W on your keyboard and we have three coordinates in the downstairs actually X, Y, Z and when I right click on the X option I come back to my zero point and the uh, Y option I came back to my zero point again and the Z is zero too I can come to the uh, modify box in here and modify my box for example 50 to the uh, 60 and the height is about 40 and you can increase the segments like that very simple and easy as you can see in different type of waves and things but now I need only one segment in each type of dimensions of this box for rotating in your environment you can hold alt on your keyboard plus scroll on your mouse as you can see now you can orbit on your model sometimes you need to focus completely detailed on your project so you can change it to the clay mode you can turn off the uh, edged faces you can hold ctrl alt and hold scroll on your mouse and now when you move your mouse you can go very smoothly on your objects very simple and easy and this is the difference between the zoom option and other things so when I press E on my keyboard, I can rotate my model in different type of ways and dimensions. But now I don't need it. So I just only want to talk about editable poly options. So for this reason, I'm going to convert this model to the editable poly. And I'm going to open this option. First one is about the vertex. Actually, these models I think have eight vertexes in different ways and lines so when I select one of them and move them as you can see I can change my models shape very simple and easy and it not depend on this vertex you can change vertex easily in every type of ways you want for example something like that for example or sometimes you can change your view option in here for example something like this and change your vertexes very simple and easy in this face and it's completely depend on you some type of things like that as you can see but it's not my favorite volume so you can control this type of vertexes like that and move them to the upside so we have other type of things in here for example remove when i click on this thing and press remove actually our box will be disabled and now we don't have any type of box in here or when i click on the brick now i have three points in three dimensions like this or like this another one like that as you can see actually you explode your box with the brick option so I don't need it another way we have is the edges you can select all of the edges with each other at the same time and for example make them a little bit smoother than the past so you can increase the segment number and control the uh, chamfers amount and press ok sometimes you need to adjust your faces so you can click on the polygon in the polygon you can select any type of faces available on your model for example these top face is good and I want to change the uh, things on it 
For example, I want to create a bevel. So I can click on the bevel option in here. I can control the heights and change the bevels outline like this and decrease it to the inside or increase it to the outside and press OK. Sometimes you need to extrude your face so extrude option in here will help you. We have local polygon or the uh, group or by polygon. I'm going to select on the by polygon and now I can change my extrude option in here very simple and easy very fast we can press ok in here another thing we have is about the insert option at the insert option you can create something like the outline but have some differences in the outline option you only can change your outline radius and other type of things in here is very useful and I will talk about it at the next sessions so for example I select this face and now I want to move it as you can see we can move it very simple and easy like that so you can come back to your editable poly in here you can turn off the uh, edged faces in here you can select all of your model you can come to the uh, modifier box and you can type smooth option and it make your model much smoother than the past if you want more smooth option you can type actually I think something about subdivs or other things sometimes you need to change your model in different ways for this reason you can delete the uh, smooth option in here and you can add the uh, option called FFD222 in this option when I click on it and control the points as you can see we can change the model without any type of breakable things in different ways and it's depend on you how you change your model but it control the points in some type of places in 3D Studio Max for example something like this as you can see and this type of options is really useful so at the end I can change it to the clay mode to see more details on it as you can see for example this is one of the shapes we created with the uh, box option and editable pori or the uh, FFT I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe don't forget it and goodbye